I've had so many of you guys saying, well, the tutorial that you've just taught me, Aussie, doesn't work. I'm playing in lag and I can't do it. Well, I feel you. I experienced the same. However, lads, if you can implement a few things into your game, then you won't have any trouble at all winning games when you're playing in lag and input delay. For the purpose of this video, I've gone into my settings. I've turned off my cable internet and I've turned on my Wi-Fi, which is in the next room, which means, lads, the delay and lag will be even worse worse when I'm playing. I then played a game and I utilized the techniques in this tutorial that I'm about to teach you. This is a complete guide to playing in lag and input delay in FIFA 22. Griezmann, three men around him to somehow find some space for another fantastic opening the drive back. He's made himself the tiniest bit of space. It almost feels like a bit of a toy. Didn't really go for him. Oh! It's a game. absolutely ridiculous. The last on the goal line. First of all, what not to do. One thing I must stress to you guys is avoid skill moves if you can. Or if you're going to use skill moves, keep it to the basic ones like ball roll or even the drag back. Skill moves that keep the ball in close to you because in lag and in delay you will find the ball won't caress as much into the feet of your attacker if you utilize skill moves including the elastico or the reverse elastico or whatever. How to dribble in delay. I've iterated this in my complete dribbling tutorial. If you haven't seen that, go and check it out. But I stress to you guys, you need to chop the left stick, not roll it. Especially this year in FIFA 22. Number one, even in good gameplay, if you roll the stick, the player won't caress the ball as much into his feet and he will take larger touches. Especially in delay, you don't want to be doing this. So in delay, you need to be chopping that left stick to control the ball a lot better and keep it in close to you. Passing. I highly recommend sticking just to the regular A or X passes or R, B, R1 passes, which is the driven pass. And I would say also avoid through balls if you can. I recommend if the through ball is not obvious and there is a defender around him, avoid it. Because a lot of the time in lag and delay, it will go closer to the defender in my opinion. So you need to avoid this. You need to stick to the simple passes of regular A or X pass or the driven pass. Now moving into how you should attack. What I recommend is sticking to the wings. The reason being is because you can keep the ball quite well out there. And what it will do is open up space in the middle of the pitch. The reason being is because when you're in lag and input delay, what I notice is it's actually quite hard to attack up the center of the pitch because of how congested it is, because there are a lot more defenders there, and you obviously don't have as good control of the ball because of that lag and input delay. So if we have the ball out on the wing, we have a higher chance of keeping the ball, number one. Number two, what it actually does is draw the defense out to that side to open up gaps in the middle. And that's what I utilize a lot, especially in a game which is laggy or has input delay. This is actually the prime way that I attack when I'm playing in lag and input delay. So you guys should definitely utilize this because it does work in bad gameplay. Now, if you want to learn more about keeping the ball out in the wing, I highly recommend you guys watching my complete tutorial on keeping possession. This outline this technique in that tutorial and it will give you a more in-depth tutorial on how to keep the ball in FIFA 22. Moving into defending, now I know a lot of pros won't like me saying this, but it's reality. When you're playing in lag and input delay, we need to find ways of defending that won't leave us vulnerable in the defense. And the way I defend, especially in bad gameplay, is you want to drag back your players and cover the passing lanes, as well as utilize second man press. If you defend manually, like you would in good gameplay, then what you will find is when you're pressuring your opponent, in bad gameplay, a lot of the time, the players will will not position themselves in the correct manner. What this means is when we're right stick selecting, we're drawing defenders out and we're pressuring our opponent, it leaves us vulnerable. And because of the lag and input delay, we can't recover quick enough. So the way to counter this is you need to drag back your attackers, cover the passing lanes and try and intercept the ball rather than putting pressure onto your opponent. However, to pressure your opponent without manually pressing this year in FIFA 22, it is recommended that you guys use second man press. To perform this, you need 
need to hold down R1 or RB and the second player closest to the attacker will pressure the opponent and there will be a timer above his head which will run out eventually but it's quite long this year the player will pressure the opponent quite quickly and you guys will hopefully get the ball off your opponent when you are utilizing this defending technique if you want a more in-depth tutorial on this I have a complete defending tutorial on the channel lads for FIFA 22 so go and check that out so there you have it lads there is a complete tutorial on how to play on input delay and in lag now I didn't obviously go into how to shoot because I recommend just utilizing any shooting technique that you guys stick by in regular gameplay because most shooting techniques work even in bad gameplay as always I'll give myself a plug I am doing tutorials on Instagram and TikTok so go and check them out links are in the description down below I can keep in touch with you guys over there but as always I hope you have a good day I'm out. Sayonara, au revoir, adios, salam, ciao, and goodbye.